All right, Freedom Summer by Deborah Wiles. Solomon, can I get a thumbs up that you can see that book? All right, I wanna make sure I've got a glare problem here in the office. John Henry Waddell is my best friend. His mama works for my mama. Her name is Annie Mae. Every morning at eight o'clock, Annie Mae steps off the county bus and walks up the long hill to my house. If it's summer, John Henry is step by stepping it right beside her. We like to help Annie Mae. We shell butter beans, we sweep the front porch, we let the cats in, then chase the cats out of the house until Annie Mae says, shoot, enough of you two, go play. We shoot marbles in the dirt until we're too hot to be alive. Then we yell, last one in is a rotten egg and run straight for Fiddler's Creek. John Henry swims better than anybody I know. He crawls like a catfish, blows bubbles like a swamp monster, but he doesn't swim in the town pool with me. He's not allowed. So we dam the creek with rocks and sticks to make a swimming spot, then holler and jump in wearing only our skin. John Henry's skin is the color of brown butter. He smells like pine needles after a good rain. My skin is the color of the pale moths that dance around the porch light at night. John Henry says I smell like a just washed sock. This means war, I shout. We churn that water into a white hurricane and laugh until our sides hurt. Then we float on our backs and spout like whales. I'm going to be a fireman when I grow up, I say. Me too, says John Henry. I have two, tick, two nickels for ice pops, so we put on our clothes and walk to town. John Henry doesn't come with me through the front door of Mr. Mason's general store. He's not allowed. How you doing, young Joe? Asks Mr. Mason. He winks and says, you gonna eat these all by yourself? My heart does a quick beat. I, I got one for a friend, I say, and scoot out the door. Yes, sir, it's mighty hot out there, Mr. Mason calls after me. I love ice pops, says John Henry. Me too, I say. Thank you for the spotlight, Miss Rubin. I always, always forget that. Annie Mae makes dinner for my family every night. She creams the corn and rolls the biscuits. Daddy stirs his iced tea and says, the town pool opens tomorrow to everybody under the sun, no matter what color. That's the new law, Mama tells me. She helps my plate with peas and says, it's the way it's going to be now everybody together. Lunch counters, restrooms, drinking fountains too. I wiggle in my chair like a doodle bug. I got to be excused, I shout, and I run into the kitchen to tell John Henry. I'm going to swim in a town pool, he hollers. Is it deep? Real deep, I tell him, and the water's so clear you can jump to the bottom and open your eyes and still see. Let's be the first ones there, says John Henry. I'll bring my good luck nickel and we can dive in the pool for it. Next morning, as soon as the sun peeks into the sky, here comes my best friend, John Henry Waddell, run, run, running to meet me. Let's go, he yells. I got my nickel. And I run right with him all the way to the town swimming pool. We race each other over the last hill and we stop. I wonder why they stop. County dump trucks are here. They grind and back up to the empty pool. Workers rake steaming asphalt into the hole where sparkling clean water used to be. One of them is John Henry's big brother, Will Rogers. We start to call to him, what happened? But he sees us first and points back on down the road. It means get on home. So they're filling the pool with rocks and tar. But our feet feel stuck. We can't budge. 
So we hunker in the tall weeds and watch all morning until the pool is filled with hot, spongy tar. Smoky steam rises in the air. Workers tie planks to their shoes and stomp on the blacktop to make it smooth. Will Rogers heaves his shovel into the back of an empty truck and climbs up with the other workers. His face is like a storm cloud. And I know this job has made him angry. Let's go, a boss man shouts. And the truck rumbles, the trucks rumble slam down the road. It's so quiet now, we can hear the breeze whisper through the grass. We sit on the diving board and stare at the tops of the silver ladders sticking up from the tar. My heart beats hard in my chest. John Henry's voice shakes. White folks don't want colored folks in their pool. You're wrong, John Henry, I say, but I know he's right. Let's go back to Fiddler's Creek, I say. I didn't want to swim in this old pool anyway. John Henry's eyes fill up with angry tears. I did, he says. I wanted to swim in this pool. I want to do everything you can do. I don't know what to say, but as we walk back to town, my head starts to pop with new ideas. I want to go to the dairy dip with John Henry, sit down and share root beer floats. I want us to go to the picture show, buy popcorn and watch the movie together. I want to see this town with John Henry's eyes. We stop in front of Mr. Mason's store. I jam my hands into my pockets while my mind searches for words to put with my new ideas. My fingers close around two nickels. Want to get an ice pop? John Henry wipes his eyes and takes a breath. I want to pick it out myself. I swallow hard and my heart says yes. Let's do that, I say. I give John Henry one of my nickels. He shakes his head. I got my own. We look at each other. Then we walk through the front door together. So that is the end of the story.